Okay, and we're back. We are now located in the undersea base in South China Sea. Our target is the Manta Ray Salvage Rig, which I believe we are currently on. Fuck if I know. It didn't really look like it. But anyway. Cracker Snatcher Corporation are searching for the wreckage of a dark wing. Not the X-Wing, the Dark Wing. <laughs> Dr. Zeng's personnel jetliner. Who's Dr. Zeng? Well, your guess is as good as any. But uh, it's pretty safe to assume that it could be the same Zeng from the first game, Fighting Force, who is actually the main villain. Right now he's in prison. Thought to be on board, our DNA codes needed to complete the cyborg project. The rig must be sunk and the codes destroyed. We start this mission in water. So we get to kind of sneak up on this guy. And he has a gun? This bitch has a gun! Look at that health bar drop though. Nobody cares about your gun. Because I got mookics! Hopefully this place doesn't have nearly the amount of fucking mines. <laughs> Cause that is just fucking ridiculous. Okay, we start off with about four grenades, a baton, and an Uzi. Let's put these to good use. Blow some shit up. Oh, and a power glove. Most likely gonna need ourselves the Uzi. Oh, of course, look at that. Wonder why we got the Uzi? Exactly for this reason right there. This I remember is not a very long level, but it does contain an interesting boss fight. One that I believe doesn't actually have a new concept, but is fairly well executed nonetheless. I don't know, we'll see soon enough, I guess. So we cannot go through this door because it requires a blue key. We'll have to go through here then. What I do like about this level is that... Well, there aren't that many bastards with guns. And when there are any, they just use pistols. Not very strong ones, too. So we don't have to worry about them being a, an issue. Look at that, we found one of the more rare weapons. I didn't even see this show up in my last playthrough at all. It's a crossbow shooter. It also counts as a sniper rifle. You can lock onto their heads with this fucking thing? He doesn't see me. <laughs> yeah, you can lock onto his head with a fucking crossbow shooter. Not, not that it matters, because as you can see, it wasn't able to headshot the person at all. Lift security engaged. Lift security disengaged. <laughs> well, not really. We still. Ow! Oh, what? No, oh, son of a. Here we go again. Oh, what? There was another mine here? I hate how they put mines on the fucking ladder. There's no way to see them from here. From the top. Okay, I wanna see if there's a mine here. Okay, I might be able to see it, but if it's just below where my reticule is, I can't fucking hit it. So what the hell is the point? I'll be forced to take a pot shot regardless. Yeah, looks like no access for this elevator. But... That might not be necessary, as you can clearly see, we have a blue keycard. And there is a door with that uh, particular keycard on it. I'll be taking this. Why is my controller shaking? There's nothing happening around here. What kind of sound is that? It sounds like a goat getting shot. Bruh! <laughs> Don't shoot my goats! Bruh! <laughs> oh, I don't like the way that looks. I'm gonna escape now. 
Actually, I think that doesn't get destroyed ever, no matter what you do. And I hope it stays that way, because I really don't fucking want to find that. It would be kind of dangerous for the entire facility too, don't you think? I mean, if that thing blew up, this entire thing would go down under. And we are under already, so... That would be a bit of a problem, wouldn't it? Let's see if the elevator's working now. And it is! Got that clearance back on. Good. Why the fuck is the fucking controller shaking so, what, so hard? You can actually change that vibration. Awesome. I know about you, but I, I'm really not a fan of huge vibrations. Because it makes me feel a little paranoid, actually, when, when the controller is shaking violently. It makes me think, like, it's gonna break anytime soon. And I would prefer that not happening. You like shooting shit, don't you? Man, you guys need to stop shooting when I'm busy de What? I killed you, didn't I? Fucker. At least he gave me some heals back. Not that it fucking matters. Because of all their stupid shooting shenanigans, I still got hurt real bad. Does the saga for heals continue? Not really. Found some more. It's not enough, but it'll have to do. Somebody silence the goddamn goats! Seriously, what fucking sound effect? Why do they make such a weird sound when they get shot? <laughs> At least it's nice to know that they're human. Sort of. <laughs> eh? Oh. Fuck. Not particularly fond of your horse shit. This is one of the bosses, actually. There's two bosses in the area. Should have mentioned that, but I completely forgot about this dickhead. He likes to chuck grenades. Where the fuck does he keep getting them from? I don't know. And just like that, as soon as I slow down just a tiny little bit, he fucking magically hits me with a grenade. Fuck you, dickhead. Just chuck your fucking grenades already. Man, what? I didn't hit him at all. Why is there a pool full of grenades anyway? Did he just hurt himself? You dumbass. Oh fuck. I need explosives. Cause I can't hurt him otherwise. I think some explosives do get thrown around for you to actually pick up. Cause otherwise that would make the boss fight impossible to win. I mean, how do you win against something that can only be killed by bombs? You just can't! So now I wait. I wait. I wait. Oi! That bit did not work. Man, what the fuck? Don't fucking hit me. Did you... Did you just try that again? Yeah, I hope you like the fucking taste of brine, bitch. Hope you turn into a fucking brine sickle. Well, actually, it's pronounced brineicle, but you get what I mean. And if you don't, you should look it up. Brineicle is a pretty cool. Luckily for you, after the boss fight, you get healed up. So no matter how much damage you took, you do not need to continue the saga of the heals. <laughs> Good. But in case you do, they actually leave you a health kit. I guess it's for some other reason. Hey, it's a dude up there. Notice how they really don't seem to care now, now that you made yourself quite aware <laughs> in this area. Like, you shot your fucking shotgun, but nobody seems to care. 
rings any familiar bells, perhaps? I don't know. I know it does ring a lot of familiar bells to me, especially when it comes to RPGs. Especially when it comes from Bethesda RPGs. The fuck are you doing, don't? Nah. Actually, there are some boxes there. Maybe it's something useful. I want to know what that is. I want some of that shit. Better not be a fucking mine. No, oh, it's even worse. I'd rather get fucking blown up. Do you like my fist, Taser? I'm gonna fist you so hard, you're gonna shit thunder. Oh, man, what? Who the fuck shot me? Hold on. There was no one behind me last I checked. So that leaves the question of who the fuck did it? Why, this dickhead, of course. Got what you deserve. Bitch. That looks like a pussy. I don't want that. I don't want that shit. Uh, what just fell out? Heels. Okay, I'll take that. Peels here. You can't even see the fucking gun they're holding. Oh, now they're becoming dickish, I see. Wanna play with fucking pistols? I got a pistol, too. Really, that's not too fucking nice at all, actually. <laughs> First, we have an established rule that uh, if you are attacking someone with a gun, his, his buddies are not gonna attack you, because we have no reason to do so. What the fuck is up with that grenade? Stop throwing grenades! What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm right up close to him and he's over all this grenade. Retarded bastard. Who the fuck does this? Seriously. Damn interruptions. Let us move on. I got one pistol bullet. And I missed. Ah, oh, you dickhead! Stop throwing grenades! What the fuck? It's like everyone suddenly is learning from Conflict Desert Storm 2. I didn't mean it seriously. How the fuck that even hurts me? Seriously. I'm right behind the fucking wall. And it still somehow hits me despite the fact that it flies past me at a pretty nice angle. Fuck you, turret cheating bastard shit's getting kind of annoying I gotta say you can use the monkey bars here but uh, that's not on top what the hell you saw that the fucking health kit just blew up okay core design that's horse shit that's fucking retarded who the fuck puts a mine inside the box how am I supposed to know that's gonna be there? The fucking health kit obscures the way! I can't possibly see the fucking mine until I pick up the health kit. That's not fair. Don't put shit that you can't fucking see. Nobody cares about things that are impossible to fucking notice at, a, at an early notice. So many questions, but no fucking answers. This better work. Okay, it did. Seriously. What the hell? Oh, look at that! Some asshole decided to put a turret with all the explosive barrels here. <sighs> Who designed this? <laughs> this is terrible design. Not just necessarily from gameplay perspective, but also from a logic perspective. Who the fuck would put a turret behind explosive barrels? That's just asking to get your own assets destroyed out of sheer stupidity. 
There's so many dumb things so all of a sudden showing up. It's really fucking annoying. I still think the dumbest part of this whole affair is, well, the fucking health kit exploding. There's never been an, an establishing point that health kits might be booby trapped or any of that shit. Why the fuck can I not open this? There's no reason why I can't open this door. I just can't. And there's no reason for that turret to be so goddamn. Ag for fuck's sake! Can I move at least? Jesus! Why am I still on fire? Just look at it. This fucking game is suddenly trying to fucking kill me because, oh, you're making a little too much progress. We can't, we can't have that. Look at that. There's a fucking mine right next to the health kit. As soon as you walk up to that fucking box and break the, break the box to get the health kit, you're not going to see that. How is this fair? Fuck that shit out of here. What dumbass decided to put a fucking bomb like that? There's no way you can ever notice it without getting first hit by it. And if you already have low HP, well, that's too bad. You'll get to, you'll get to die. And you get thrown off the ledge. That's more damage. You get to die some more. That's not fair or fun. Like, okay, put the bombs in the fucking health kits if you want to but at least let us have a way of knowing that that can happen like there's never been any establishment that it just might happen like somebody might decide let's booby trap our own fucking gear nobody ever does this so how the fuck am i supposed to know that this is going to happen oh of course that missed I don't know. It's like this game is so fucking weird. There are good parts about it. You kind of want to say this is this is actually good, and then suddenly, oh, you know what? No, you were having too much fun. I can't let you do this. Who the fuck does this? I thought I thought games are made to be fun, not fucking bullshit. I was told games are made to be beaten, but apparently that's no longer the fucking case. Or, well, played I should say, not made, but whatever, it's the same fucking principle. Oh look at that, there's a turret right there, what can I do about it? Jack and shit, cause it can just see me through the fucking wall. Why can the turret see me through the wall? It shouldn't be able to see me no matter what. Look at that, another fucking bomb next to a crate. And the dumbest part about it this time around is that the... Oh, who the fuck puts turrets in the fucking ventilation shaft? Ah. Oh. This is an underwater base, you morons! Who the fuck does this? Game over my ass! Shove it! We're gonna restart. 